second coat of primer. To the naked eye, it's pretty obvious still where the joints are in the ceiling. I think mine is better, but it is still visible. Now there's only one coat of primer on that so far, so that may yet improve. This idiot machine is going back to the Home Depot in a few minutes. It decided to ignore the off switch. So you turn it on, it's pumping paint, whether you're pulling the trigger or not. It just spews. I came into the room tonight to paint. And as I was dusting off the walls, dusting off the dust, I discovered that there were imperfections that I couldn't see because they had been so well coated in dust. So instead of painting, uh, I went back over the room again to finish off um, mud. And uh, as you can probably see, um, I just I got mud everywhere. I mean, it's... It's uh, kind of crazy. I get hurt, like scratched. I have no idea how. So there's no question in my mind that I got hurt somewhere in this room tonight, but um, exactly how that happened, I couldn't tell you. So all I did was uh, essentially feather out some areas again. So up here was disgusting. So this entire area, I mean, you can still see some crap through there. There's an extra layer of mud everywhere. I figured if I had to, to do that, then I may as well take the time to do this. I found all of the, the joints where they were supposed to have been done and they looked done, but the mud dips in. So when I put a, a 16 inch trowel across it, inevitably uh, it would take more mud. Some of these are rough. I guess it would be most fair to say that I just, I loaded a bunch of mud on here and I intend to sand my way down. I'm really not interested in spending any more time mudding if I don't have to.